it's going to be a, a really tough task for her. She's the current starting favorite in the race, so I think we're going to have a big chance. If she does win, this will, will probably be the biggest win I've had in my career. Horses ship from all around the world, and it's interesting. The uh, horses from Wesley Ward, for example, he flew in nine horses yesterday. They'll leave the barn at Keeneland, all mine are, are stabled in, in Kentucky, and they'll fly over to Stansted, England in a direct flight, and they'll go from the airport in Stansted and, and up to Newmarket. I found that going to England is, it's like you're going to a farm. All the places I've been are beautiful, opulent, just magnificent uh, training facilities to where that the horses actually gain weight when they get there. So now I'm trying to go a, a couple of weeks early to where the horses can come in and they can get used to the surroundings and get over the trip because it takes about 24 hours. Royal Alaska is probably Europe's flagship international race meeting. We've been very lucky here. I mean, June is a really good time in the global calendar. You know, we've seen horses regularly from Asia, from Australia, from the United States. In fact, in a few weeks' time, we're going to have a horse from Argentina here for the first time for the, uh, for the King George. Some of the highlights over the last few years at Ascot have included some great performances. I've loved it right from the, the first year when we got Choisir to come over and he did the double. And the fact that he came over and won encouraged other Australians to come. We've had many runners from all around the world over the years. And of course, we've had Miss Andretti, Takeover Target, Scenic Blast. And ultimately, we had the great race mare, Black Caviar. It's probably the pinnacle of my career in racing, actually seeing her win. The first time I breezed her from the gate in Kentucky at Keeneland, I was an eye opener. I mean, you could see the ability that she had. Uh, and I knew I had something very, very special then. The fillies that I were matching her with in the mornings on the grass at Arlington were very nice fillies and she was just bounding away six or seven lengths in the morning workouts. And I know that I'm bringing the right horse over there that has won last year, you know, because I'm bringing a, you know, a true champion to the race and, and she's gonna run her best. I was so happy and so excited that we had a, another contender uh, in her to bring her back this year. And she's over there settled in now and everything looks wonderful. You know, you're always nervous, uh, especially at a place like Ascot. But, you know, last year she was against her own sex and age group, two-year-old fillies. I really thought I was going to win. And they're off and racing in the Queen Mary Stakes. And she bounced out of there in front. And as soon as they got about an eighth of a mile from home, Frankie DeTori let her run. She just kind of bounded away. But Frankie says go on the American filly, and she absolutely blasts away from them. Lady Aurelia, she's as good as a reputation said she might be. And I just had, it's a feeling that, uh, you know, when you're involved in something like that, something so special, and for her to win by the margin that she did, uh, I tell you, just makes the hair stand up in the back of your neck, and to really feel a, a sense of pride that you're involved with it, and it's just, uh, it's, a, it's an unexplainable feeling that you get.